Right, I'm ready, Dan. For what? Hmm? For you to paint on my face. Why do I want to do that, Jeff? Because uh, it's paint on Jeff's face day. That's what we do on a Friday, Jeff. A Friday. Today is Friday. Is it? I thought it was Brown Day. You've just made Brown Day up. Yeah, probably have. All right, it's TBBC. It's Friday morning with Dan and Jeff, which means it's time for... Paint on Jeff's face. Paint on Jeff's face. Paint, paint, painting on Jeff's face. Paint on Jeff's face. Paint on Jeff's face. What was that? The Paint on Jeff theme tune there, Jeff. OK. Oh, on a completely unrelated note, yes. have you ever been sued by ABBA? I don't listen to hip-hop, Jeff. It's not a pleasant experience. Strap yourself. Right. right, shall we have a look at the ones that could go on your face this week? I would hope so. All right, first up is Hannah. It is Farmer Face, Jeff. Look at that one, Jeff. There's all the animals, and she says that this is Hacker up on your forehead here. Oh, and this is me in the tractor here, ploughing your top lip. That is very good. Ah. I particularly like the sheep Farmer. doing the star jump. But um, the, the, the problem with that, you see, is I have to get up very early, Monday to Friday, to come here and sit you next do. to you. Yes, you and, do, yeah. Uh, but Saturdays and Sundays, that's my time. That's when I sleep in. Farmers have to get up early. And I ain't getting up at 5 a.m. to be a farmer. Not in my house. No, no, no. Who's going to get the eggs then, Jeff? Think about that. Right, fair enough. Moving on. How about KTH9? It's Sweetie Face, Jeff! Look at that one. Sweets all on your face. You'll be sweet like chocolate. Yeah, you Lovely. see, the thing with that uh, is I'd have to go and sit on a shelf of some sweet shop waiting for a child to walk in and choose to buy a portion of my face for 99p, and I'm not comfortable with any of that. People call you sweet, Jeff. I don't care. It's better than what they call you now. Right, Charlie, age 12, wanted to call you, make you, paint you, trumpet in a field face, Jeff. What did Charlie want to do? Trumpet in a field face, Jeff, right there. That's what Charlie, age 12, thought. There, How about that? Is there a bit of my face missing? There? Well, yeah, yeah, but that's where the conductor stands. The yeah. maestro. Yeah, I don't think so, because every time I blew my nose, it would sound like a trumpet. And, uh... You are picky this morning, Jeff. Well, All right, then, fair enough. We will look at more of those, then, after Dick and Dom. Dairy? Dick and Dom Dairy. 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 CBBC. This is CBBC with Dan and Jeff, where it is now time for... Pain on Jeff. Pain on Jeff's face. Let's pain on Jeff. Whoa, 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 whoa. Pain on Jeff. We're painting on Jeff's face. Let's pain and ABBA still haven't been in touch to discuss legal matters. Why would they, Jeff? That was not an ABBA song. That was the Paint on Jeff theme tune. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, let's have a look at some more masterpieces these guys have sent in before you're sued by some ageing Swedish pop stars. Any similarities are purely coincidental, Jeff. Right. First up was Emily, age 10, who sent in... Too many ideas on your face, Jeff. Look at this. I mean, wow. There's like floating cat's head and a rabbit's head there. Up here, it's night, it's day, it's raining, it's sunny. There's planes, there's cars, there's a whole street here. There's invisible trees, which could be cauliflower. It's amazing. Yeah, it's very, very good. What she's actually managed to do, which no one else ever has, is, is drawn my face bigger than it actually is, right. uh, thus to fit all our ideas on. If we were to transfer them, we wouldn't get it all Oh, on. the rabbit would be near the shark. Yeah, that my be neck, disastrous. shoulders, all over the OK, place. fair enough. Well, if you don't want that one, then I think we're going to have to go with this one from Abby, age 12, in Basingstoke. Well, let's have a look, then. You know the rules, Jeff. You don't get to see it till oh, they get to see it. I don't rules, I don't like it. Yeah, but then the rules, like but then the rules. Like the rules. Oh, all right, if you want to do exactly what Abby did and get your picture on Jeff's face, it's so simple. Put on a piece of paper and send it to us here at Paint Jeff. P.O. Box 9989, London W12 6PA. That's all you gotta do! And we will be, after Prank Patrol, having some more... Pain on Jeff! Pain on Jeff's face! It's pain on Jeff! This could be your revision, Jeff. Yeah! Wow, what an awesome prank patrol. Dreams becoming real. I had a dream about that once. It was strange. OK, it is the moment in your morning that you've all been waiting for. It's time for us to reveal what we actually put on Jeff's face. It was from Abby, age 12, in Basingstoke, and we decided to go for... Flower face, Jeff! Look at that. That one is awesome. It's actually Fifi flower tot. There you go. Who knows what that means? Right. Are you ready to reveal your face to the nation, Jeff? Totally am. All right. In three, two, one. It's Fifi flower tot face, Jeff! There it is. Wow. Look at that. That is awesome. Have a look at this. Have a look at this. That is what's on your face there. Wow. wow. And I get it though. He loves you. He loves you not. He loves Don't. you. He loves I you not. I did no plastic surgery. I'm sorry, mate. I'm sure it'll come off in the wash. That's fine. Okay. OK, if you want to put a picture on Jeff's face, it's so simple. Do what Abby did, put it on a piece of paper and send it to us here at... Paint Jeff. 
P.O. Box 9989, London W12 6PA. But it's Dad, that simple! I'm scared of bees. And they're scared of you, Jeff. Here's Raven, the secret temple. Ooh, can I sniff you? <laughs> Hello there, boys and girl boy boys! It's me, Randy T. Richburger, the richest man in the world. And I am now the new owner of CBBC. I bought it, no, so no. I also own this little no, monkey no, here. No, no, you can't have bought CBBC. It wasn't for sale. I'm Randy T. Richburger. I can buy whatever I like. I own CBBC. There is nothing I can't buy. Oh, yeah? What about love? What do you want to go and say a thing like that for, boy? No, you can't buy love. But I once knew love, boy. Let me tell you a story. Sit down. I am sat down. Stand up. Sit down. I once knew love, boy. I loved a peach tree by the name of Peachy Tree Boy Boy Boy. A tree? That's right, boy. I grew that tree myself. I planted the little peach tree in the ground. I nurtured it. I watered it every day, sometimes with my own bitter tears of despair. And that tree grew, boy, into a mighty peach tree. And I'd sit under that tree. I'd read books under that tree. I'd shelter from the sun in that tree. I even kissed my third wife, Mary Sue Jane Bob, under that tree. That is kind of beautiful. Is the tree still growing? Growing, do you still visit it? No, don't be stupid, boy. I got a peach stone stuck in my tooth, so I chopped that tree down and made it into a toothpick. A whole tree for one tooth. No one puts a stone in Randy T. Richburger's tooth and gets away with it, I tell you that, boy. Now, let me buy your face. What for? I want to put it as a CBBC logo. One billion dollars. For this new CBBC logo? Yeah, is it your work? No, it's having H12 from Basingstoke today. I can't believe you take credit for someone else's work. I hurl a chicken leg at you in anger and leave. Hello, who is this? That's Shirley. Hello, Shirley. Oh, this could get interesting. Oh, you guys want to you too, Shirley. How about you be my wife number eight? Look